96,000 that I that I can't do. Enough, what happens? We get a nice blowout. I like to see the real deal here. We don't fake sales. Probably one of the busiest weeks I've had since right around Christmas time. All right, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Guys, we had a phenomenal week. Probably one of the busiest weeks I've had since right around Christmas time. And I can't thank each and every one of you guys enough. But it just kind of hit me. After having the pleasure to meet some of you guys out there, some of the stuff that you guys were saying to me, the things that I'm doing right, you know, why you purchased from me, why you decided to do business with me, it really made me think exactly why I decided to do this whole thing. You know, I saw the need in the market and it's not because of the overpriced merchandise. It's not because of the quality of watches that are being sold. It's the educational portion of this business. And if you couldn't tell, the educational portion is a pretty big thing to me. Now, I'm not talking about someone that could recite a f sure. I mean, that's boring. I don't even want to hear that. What I like hearing about is condition of a watch. How is a watch running? Why is it not running correctly? Stuff of that nature. Something people do not talk about. You guys see a ton of theatrics in this business? I can't stand for it. The support from you guys has been absolutely tremendous. And once again, I really can't thank you guys enough. Without anybody out there, this would not be possible. And we're going to start this video off right with an absolute banger of a watch. I've been able to sell quite a few monster units. Some of them you guys really don't ever get to see. Whether it be because I can't film the deal, this being one of them. But, I mean, it is what it is. We got a monster unit. Let's get this video started. All right. We got a big wire that just hit. All right, ladies and gents. I know you guys like to see the real deal here. We don't fake sales. We don't say stuff sold. We don't post random stock and say that it's sold. Everyone wants to see the wires. Did the wire actually hit? In this case, yes, the wire hit. Don't be fooled out there. Everyone's got crazy stock. They like to say that it's sold, sold, sold. Show me the wires, all right? We're getting deals done out here. Let's get on to what this watch actually is. And here it is. We got a brand new 2023 Paddock 5990R. It's a heavy hitter watch, solid rose gold with that infamous blue dial. Crazy looking piece, and I want to give a major shout out to the guy who bought this. Violin, it was an absolute pleasure to meet you. Till I see you again in Florida, enjoy your watch in good health, and thank you for purchasing it through me. And another blue dial going out. This is a 18238 in near new old stock condition with a very rare matte blue stick dial in almost perfect condition. Justin, thank you for purchasing this watch. I know you've been waiting quite some time. I'm happy to finally get it done for you. Enjoy it. Hey, same stuff, different day. What's going on? Daytona with the meteorite dial. Oh, the meteorite dial? Sick yeah. piece, heavy hitter. You, you saw the one on my story? Make sure to follow me on Instagram, guys. You'll see a lot more watches posted there. Is that what? Honestly, that's what made me want to get it, bro. <laughs> that one I actually sold. So that one was on that one was on the Oyster Flex strap. Are you looking uh, full solid bracelet or Oyster Flex? No, no, full solid. Full solid? Brand new or pre-owned? Brand new, 100% brand new. Brand new. All right, hold on. Let me see if anything's available real quick. I have one brand new 2023 complete set. The watch is discontinued. This is true new unworn. Um, a hundred thousand. Anything better than that, Pete? I really wouldn't have that much room. I got to source this thing. I mean, did you get quoted from someone else? Do you have a price in mind? Where do you want to be? Ninety-six thousand. That I that I can't do. That's not possible. That I can't get to. How about if I trade it in with the new black Submariner? New black sub. March or April card? Not April. March. It's a March card. And it's true new one worn. Yeah. I could get I could get the Daytona down to ninety eight thousand five hundred. I'll pay twelve grand on your sub, because I just got to make something on it. There, there really is no money left in those. You're coming out of pocket eighty six thousand five hundred differential. Fair? I, I think that's very fair. Will eighty six get it done? Eighty six in your watch get it done? All right, 86,000 your sub. I'll get you over a label and an invoice. I have it wrapped up in like a day or two, all right? Don, I appreciate you. No, nah, not a problem. Talk soon, all right? Thank you. I'll talk to you. Bye-bye. Bye. Let's go over the numbers for this watch, all right? 95,000 minus, we're taking $86,000 wire. 
So that leaves us with a grand total of $9,000 basically coming out of my pocket to make this deal happen, right? So I'll be into the Submariner for uh, $9,000. I'll hope to sell that watch for $14,000. Now, if I sell that sub for $14,000, I'm left with roughly a $5,000 profit. Now, there's going to be some odds and ends. Wire fees, shipping, both to myself, to the buyer, to the seller, this, that, whatever. $5,000 on roughly a $95,000 transaction. And realistically, if he's coming out of pocket, $86,000 plus, I think, retail $10,650. He's kind of coming out at $96,650. So he's really at the number that he said before that I couldn't get to. So we kind of met in the middle there. He's going to be happy. I'm happy. I think there's money to be made. Another deal done. Let's go get this watch. So we're back in the infamous Hyundai. The Elantra's still kicking. The Elantra ain't going nowhere. Anybody that has like a beater car, you know what I mean. These things are freaking great. But we got a busy day today. We got to hit the city. We gotta go pick up a bunch of watches. We gotta drop some stuff off. So we're gonna hit the road. We're gonna get to the city, see if we can get it done. And here's what we picked up. We got a brand new 116508 yellow gold meteorite Daytona. And then my client figured, well, it's gonna be a yellow gold summer. Why not just buy a 126618 LB? Shout out to you, Darren. Always a pleasure. Now, we also picked back up this AP26331ST, so we're going to go ahead and drop this off tomorrow, but for now, this thing is absolutely mint. Nothing better than a professionally refinished AP. So, as I was saying, the Hyundai is still kicking, and sure enough, it's, I think I've put 30 plus thousand miles on this car. All I had to do was change tires, brakes, oil, whatever the case may be, and today, of course, of all days, had to meet with a client and sure enough what happens we get a nice blowout shout out to new york shout out to new jersey for these roads fantastic out tired the beaded and we snapped the look it's not waiting for a tow truck sorry saying i'm trying to get to you i really am but we're stuck on the side of the road for now Come on guys, you already know I got the deal done saying absolute pleasure to meet you. This guy offered to pay for my tow truck. Like somehow he caused it. Absolutely not. I declined the money. We had a great lunch, but I wasn't done there. I had to sit in traffic and then we headed right back to New York. We got a few more orders going out. Like this absolutely insane blue floral factory scattered diamond dial. The amount of detail in this, absolutely insane. I wish they did this for larger models. However, this is for 31 millimeters only. Then we also had a nice Coke going out. This watch was in absolutely phenomenal condition. I don't know. I would consider it close to new. Chamfers, everything about the case was absolutely flawless. Box, papers. Shout out to my guy, Manny. You're going to love this watch. Now, of course, we got to throw in some form of a repair. This is my friend's wife's watch. She wants to get rid of this older, outdated diamond bezel and replace it with the factory one. Now, he told me he went in the water with this thing. He's been in the pool. It looks like it's got water damage, but I don't really know. I'm going to answer the question for you guys. Will an aftermarket bezel or dial ruin the value of your watch? Absolutely not. Just make sure whoever's installing these parts, they give them back to you. That's the only way you'll lose money. As long as you have the original parts, go nuts. Just make sure it's taken care of the correct way and you won't have an issue. All right. But this thing, we got the old diamond bezel off, got the case cleaned up. And she's ready All to right. go. Quick little interruption. We just got a few pieces in. So since the last unboxing video did so well and you guys bought so much stuff that was in that video, I'm going to give you first dibs on the pricing. This pricing is only going to be from this video on the website. It'll be a little bit more. So if you see something you like, reach out. Let me know. Of course, Rolex box. And we have a Batman. So this is the original reference Batman, reference 116710BLNR. Now this watch is actually in phenomenal condition. Sides of the case are really nice. Lugs are still thick. Great insert. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything major here. So it's a really nice Batman, older reference once again. I mean, I'll be entirely honest with you. It's pretty much the same thing as the new one. Um, Full set, red hang tag, serial hang tag, and of course, box and papers. So we have our booklets, GMT booklet, 
2015, so we have a 2015 116710 BLNR here. 2015 Batman, anyone that wants it, $13,700. You're not finding a better price anywhere. Next up, another Rolex box. This is the older style with the lime green insert, and we have a Pepsi. Wow, this thing's actually, this thing's actually nuts. So on camera, it's looking extremely red on this insert. Yeah, on camera, it's extremely red, but this thing is almost faded to like a very nice pink color. I mean, it's absolutely crazy. No holes case. So we're going to see what serial this is. But this watch is in great condition as well. Nice chamfer still in the case. Great bezel, great insert. I don't see any real marks there. Could use a light touch up, I would say, for a polish. Let's check out bracelet condition. Bracelet is good. Yeah, it's a very nice watch. And we do have papers. So this watch does come with its original papers. I really haven't seen that many inserts that come with this color, or at least fade to this color. Anyone that wants this watch, take it for 11700 I mean, that's pretty much the, the price of a black 16710. So anyone wants a nice Pepsi, 117. Now, because I was fighting with deadlines, trying to make sure that I can get to FedEx on time, these are the last few orders I got on film. This is a beautiful 16233, phenomenal condition, fully refinished. Shout out to Carl for buying this watch. I'm going to have to start raising my prices because absolutely everything sells within a few days. So that's telling me something. We got a 126610 LV. This is going out to a dealer. I was actually a nice guy. I cleaned it up for him, had a few dings on the lugs, but a complete set. Kermit, Starbucks, whatever you want to call it, going out the door. Now, we also sold the Oyster Quartz. Now, this is the 17013 with the crazy patina. This watch was absolutely phenomenal. It really was. I kind of didn't want to let it go. However, someone showed immediate interest in it. And honestly, he's going to enjoy it a lot more than a dealer will. So, I let him have it. Now, last but certainly not least, we have a phenomenal 16014 going out. These things are absolutely flying whenever I get them in, especially in condition like this. Guys, once again, I buy condition and I sell condition. Don't get it twisted. So that's pretty much going to do it for this episode. I want to thank everyone for tuning in as always. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Turn on the notifications so you could stay up to date whenever I drop new videos. But more importantly, if you're looking to buy, sell, trade, whatever, feel free to reach out to me anytime on any platform. I'm going to link all of my information down in the description. Thank you once again for tuning in. I will catch you guys on the next one.